Greetings! In this video I'm gonna show you how I made my super slow 11 year old mechanical hard drive more or less as fast as an SSD, at least when it comes to responsiveness and boot times. I decided to use this specific slow and old Samsung SATA HDD from 2007 for demonstration purposes, basically showing you what can be done and achieved in a worst case scenario such as this one. Now how am I going to do that you ask? Well the only way to boost performance of that old hard drive is with the help of something called Intel Obtain Memory. The 16GB module currently costs about 35 US dollars. I'll show you all the steps I went through to set it all up and I'll even show you some extra steps you might not need to do, but in some occasions that can be a lifesaver. But first off I'd like to give a shout out to my buddy Stefan Miller who kindly just sent me over some Intel Obtain Memory that I can use for whatever I want. He basically bought it and sent it to me for free. Free. So thanks a lot Stefan, you really wouldn't have to do that, but I appreciate your generosity. Now before I get your hopes up high, unfortunately Intel Obtain Memory is a feature exclusive to Intel platforms only. To be exact, you need at least a 7th generation CPU platform, so KB Lake, which launched in 2017. Ok, but how does this Obtain Memory technology actually work? In simple words. Well, it's a special module that goes into your motherboard's M.2 slot. That module pretty much acts as cache for the mechanical hard drive, so data is temporary temporarily stored on this obtained memory, allowing the rest of the system to access data much faster on your slow drive. So how did I set it up? First I plugged in my old Samsung HDD and connected it to one of the SATA ports on my motherboard. Next up I'd advise you to check whether or not all M.2 slots support obtained memory and then install it into one of the slots that supports it. Now that that's done, power on your system and go into the BIOS. Make sure both the Intel Obtain drive as well as your hard drive show up. Then go into your storage settings and set everything up for the obtain memory according to your motherboard vendor's manual. This is different from board to board. In my case with this MSI board, I changed the SATA mode from HCI to RAID slash obtain and enable the M.2 obtain genie. Then I save the settings and then go back into the BIOS once again. Keep in mind if you have any data or operating system installed on your hard drive, it will have to be wiped out. So please back up all all your data before doing any of this. As you can see it just says hard disk in my case, no drive model anymore as seen in HCI mode. So now we have to get ready for the installation of Windows 10. Plug in your bootable USB flash drive or insert the installation DVD and enter the BIOS once more and set the boot order correctly. In my case I want to install from USB, so USB has to be first on the list to boot. Very important though, it has to be UEFI, otherwise it won't work for obtain memory. Then save the settings and go through the usual steps needed for the Windows 10 install until you get to the drive selection window. We have our hard drive on the list as well as the obtain memory. Select the hard drive. Intel states the drive needs to have a GPT partition table. So to convert from MBR to GPT, hold down shift plus F10, enter disk part, list disk, ignore the two other listed disks. Locate the hard drive you want to install Windows onto, in my case that's disk 0. So I type select disk 0, then type in clean and finally convert GPT. Then just exit the command prompt. Now just create a new partition and install Windows the way you've always done by going through all the steps needed. Once you're on the desktop install all your motherboard drivers, graphics drivers and so on. For this demo I'll just do it via Windows update, normally I would just go for the latest ones and get them all manually. Once that's done open your web browser and search for something like Intel Obtain Memory Driver. Go to Intel's website and click on the Intel Obtain Memory user user interface and driver offer and download the setup obtain memory exe or zip file. Once downloaded click on the file and just go through all the steps by clicking next all the time. At the end restart your system. 
Following that, you will be greeted by this quick setup from the Intel Obtain Memory tool. Click on Next, double check it's the correct drive you want to accelerate and hit Enable. Now put a check mark where needed and click on Continue. This will erase all data on the Obtain Memory. Then wait a few seconds until you're prompted to restart. Do so, and once you're back to the desktop, you're done. The Obtain Memory module is now accelerating my slow hard drive. Of course, you could disable it at any time. Now it might take a while until you notice some speed boost. In my case I almost noticed it instantly though. First off booting into Windows made a huge difference. A difference like day and night. With Intel Obtain Memory enabled I pretty much boot into Windows as fast as with an SSD. Whereas it takes like forever until I get to the desktop with Obtain disabled. It's a very slow drive. Still that shows how much of an effect super fast caching has on mechanical hard drive. Applications and Windows open much faster as well. To be honest, I didn't feel much of a difference compared to an actual SSD boot drive. To give you some numbers, I ran the Crystal Disk Mark Disk Benchmarking tool and the results are mind-blowing. I didn't expect that kind of good result to be honest. I really grabbed the worst and slowest drive I had lying around for this experiment. But do keep in mind, transfers from one location to another on the same drive don't show that much of a difference with with obtain enabled or disabled. So if you're a gamer and want your games to load faster on your mechanical hard drive, this might help, but don't expect huge differences. After all, it also depends on the game. But there sure would be a slight improvement. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time at hand to download and install games to show you, but I actually want this video to be a tutorial. Hopefully you found this video entertaining and maybe even useful, depending on whether or not you will be giving Intel Obtain Memory a chance someday. I never planned on testing Obtain, but Stefan hooked me up with this module, so I kinda had to. And I don't regret it. I learned a very valuable lesson. It's impressive how much just $35 could potentially speed up your system, more importantly mass storage. And yeah, this was a bit of a longer video. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And with that said, thanks for watching.